Centennial Coal uses IHS's Stature Risk Assessment software to help manage its on-site risks. Centennial's implementation of Stature uses the 5x5 RAC matrix, which is the most common risk assessment template used in the Australian mining industry and also incorporates FMEA and bowtie analysis. Centennial commissioned IT specialists to develop an export-import feature to provide a quick and easy interface from Riskgate to Stature. This feature is now available on Riskgate for other Stature customers to use. Similar approaches could be taken to interface Riskgate with software systems used by other companies. This video will show you step by step how easy it is to incorporate elements of Riskgate into the existing Stature risk assessment process. The example used in this exercise is assessing the risk of a fire on an installed conveyor belt in the underground environment. The process starts with Stature's incident builder within a rack analysis. Stature displays this information as an event caused by a hazard resulting in a consequence. If you rearrange the columns, putting the caused by column in front of the event, you've got a bow tie, which is the way Riskgate is structured. In other words, any well-structured event description within RAC has all the elements of a bow tie analysis. When working through a risk assessment, you generally start by identifying the events or incidents before working out what the causes or hazards may be and if the event occurs, the subsequent consequences. This is the sequence used in Stature and it's a logical and intuitive process for building a risk assessment. Once you've used the incident builder to consider the potential causes and consequences, you can open the RAC analysis worksheet in Stature. You're now ready to check what Riskgate has to offer. On the Riskgate homepage, select the topic Fires. Then select the initiating event, Fire on Fixed Plant or Infrastructure, which will display the bow tie. A list of causes is identified in the first column. You can deselect elements by clicking on the small ticked boxes. The cause, accumulation or deposition of coal on fixed plant infrastructure, is the one you're looking for, so the others can be deselected. Deselect the preventive controls that are not relevant. In this example, you don't want design, infrastructure, plant and process to minimise generation or deposition of coal dust because you're dealing with an operating conveyor. The consequences relate to surface or underground mine environments, so select personnel injury or fatality on or near fixed plant or infrastructure in the underground mine environment. Now, deselect the mitigating controls that aren't relevant, such as those already in place at your site. Once you've decided what bow tie information you want to bring to Stature, click on the checklist button, save it into Stature XML and agree to the disclaimer. This will generate an XML document which you need to save. Make sure you know where you've saved it because you'll need to go back and open that document shortly. In Centennial Coal's version of Stature, there's an icon for importing Riskgate data. Click on this icon to locate the file that you've saved and import it straight into Stature. The Riskgate information will be given its own step within the Incident Builder, as you can see here. The event and all the causes and consequences that you selected have been imported at this scoping stage of risk assessment. The causes and consequences that you've imported from Riskgate can be dragged and dropped into your incident and modified to suit your site, as every site is different. Although you can't see them at this point, the controls have also been imported. They'll be visible when you move to the actual RAC analysis. If you now open the RAC analysis worksheet, you can see that the incident builder has populated the controls as recommended controls. They're not in the list of current controls because as the facilitator of this risk assessment, you need to get the risk assessment owner and team members to consider the controls and make decisions. If the controls remain as recommendations, then someone needs to be made responsible for them and a due date allocated to allow the Stature Risk Assessment to be finalised within the Risk Management System. You can edit the Riskgate information to reflect the language and terminology that you use at your site. You can also delete any recommended controls from Riskgate that are already in place at your site, or drag and drop them into the current controls list. 
Having completed a RAC risk assessment, all information is available for you to complete a bow tie analysis on this incident for your site. A control effectiveness evaluation is part of the bow tie analysis and is used to assess whether you've applied sufficient preventive and mitigating controls. We used an underground example in this video because Centennial Coal is predominantly an underground mining company. An open cut example would be fire on mobile plant. Simply follow the same steps we've outlined, but use fire on mobile plant as the initiating event. Centennial Coal Chief Risk Officer John Hempenstall worked with the IT professionals to develop Stature and the RiskGate interface template. John said, Developing an interface between RiskGate and Stature made accessing current industry practice a seamless process. It means we are now able to quickly and efficiently incorporate the RiskGate body of knowledge into our risk assessments, making the time-consuming process of copying and pasting information redundant. Not only that, RiskGate's well-defined structure gives us a logical starting point for discussion around each risk assessment and we can quickly determine what needs to be included and what should be excluded. It's a far more efficient process. The integration of RiskGate within Stature demonstrates how easy it is to bring broad industry knowledge and experience into any stage of your risk assessment process to help scope, conduct or review your risk assessment. The RiskGate team is interested in collaborating with other mining houses to develop similar approaches for direct integration of the RiskGate body of knowledge into their risk management processes.